the admin didn't think to fortify these tunnels into town. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. I guess. She still scared me, though. I think Zara's already done plenty in the fight against Romeo. And she's been at it a lot longer than we have. She deserves a break. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that heck mouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. Hey, no one is going to end up like Fred. But how do you know? Fred didn't know just how bad Romeo was, so he underestimated him. We can learn from the people that came before us. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. Here we go. want to bet that's where the primary terminal is. The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We gotta find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Oh, typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are going to need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to at all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And... Boop! Now, 
now. How about you run along and get that fireworks show ready for the big keynote? Hey? Yes, admin. Uh, Jesse. I think the admin's distracted. Yeah. We should go grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? You were always so worried about Champion City, and now... One less thing to worry about. My... my friends and... my people... they're... gone. Psst. Olivia! Axel! Oh my gosh! I knew it! I just knew it! <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh! Jesse, I... What is... Come on, I'll explain everything. But we have to get off the streets. To the map shop, quick. I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath a bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean... I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. I'll just have to make them understand what happened. Make them? I suppose if anyone could make them listen, it'd be you. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. It's our fault. No, Jesse, don't do that. We're why the admin is here in the first place. Everything that happens now is on us. I'm so glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. Nothing to worry about. We've got our best fighter here with us. As much as I appreciate the <coughs> completely accurate compliment, this is the admin we're talking about. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Surprised nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. You okay there, Jack? Uh, fine, I guess. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. I promise, Jack. We're going to get everything back once we defeat the admin. Yeah, you're right. Probably just fixating on this to distract myself. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Might be something useful in here yet. Uh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. Wow. I was worried all the parrots had left Beacon Town. Who, Archie? No, he'd never leave. Oh, is he yours? Watching him for a friend. Let's just leave it at that. Hey, Binta. Adjusting okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. 
Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. Don't think we're going to be able to read our way up to the tower. Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything? About a terminal, maybe? No, the guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... he's just been missing. Kinda went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. What brought you both back to Beacon Town? Yeah, we, uh... We heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. We'll be here. Keeping an eye out. <laughs> Doing okay, Luna? <coughs> yeah, I know it's scary. We're gonna get through it, though. Poor Llama. <coughs> Almost forgotten about that stash. Are these elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah, got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? You out of my sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah. Ah. Ivor, what on earth were you just doing hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you. Oh, oh my oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor, founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend, standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. And my shop is a complete wreck. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor, just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor, of the Order of the Stone? Whew. This is quite the pleasure. Huh. Well, yes, of course it is. And you are? Oh, me? Oh, I'm, uh, the, uh, the, uh, stalk, the, uh, stab, well, from the... I'm, uh, <laughs> nobody. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello! Always nice to meet a fan. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about you rotting away in prison forever? Big success. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult, and took many, many days of intense mental activity. And a very large hole in the side of the Sunshine Institute, which I'm sure no one will notice. Hey. I can't believe that you risked your life for us. You could have died. What if Ivor hadn't gone back? <laughs> Nerm, you are a treasure. Now that the team is back together, Ivor. We need to stop the admin. 
We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes. I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. Let me guess. There's guards, right? Yes, yes! Though I requested a post there, the admin appointed special golems to patrol the place. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, talking out? You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. That's not... Uh, you can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We'll never get backstage without fireworks skilled uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom! Backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're going to be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. Then, the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows we're there. See? Piece of cake. That... Uh, might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kinda awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Even when Stella has the best of intentions, she's still a problem. That's an understatement. Well, Stella does know where the fireworks guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great! Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin! You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Stella is the worst, so be careful, all right? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Time to find Stella. An ocelot? What is that for? Uh-huh. 
Huh. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. flesh would come in handy. Uh, good day to you? That was too close. Hey. Why did you destroy his home? What did Champion City do to you? Destroying homes left and right? Absolutely no regard for people's lives? What kind of leader is that? It's just a city. The people are safe and have learned a valuable lesson. Except they have no homes. What happened to you, Jesse? I used to know you. I need this to end once and for all. <laughs> I did it, Jesse. I did what you asked. Now there are pork chops for everyone. Would you like to taste one? I made it myself. You know what? I will have a pork chop. You, would you like uh, Esteban? <laughs> or smushy cute cheeks? Or Lord Von Thunderbord? Six. They're all good. We're good. Smushy cute cheeks always was a favorite. <laughs> right away. Romeo didn't touch this, at least. <gasps> oh, your greatness! I searched everywhere for you! Uh, stop there! Uh -uh. I present to you the newest Jesse Khan volunteers. They await your orders. Not the brightest quartet in the bunch, but, uh, well, they're golems, so just give them an order and they'll do whatever you need. You know what? Let them take the day off. Go slime diving or something. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Your leader is giving you a request. I want to see dives so beautiful the people will weep. for even a moment and pandemonium ensues. Stop doing that and get back to your posts. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know what you did. Phew. Okay, so he just pops in whenever he wants to. I better find Stella fast before the admin finds me.
another ocelot. What are these for? Stella! Wait! Uh, no. Lawrence. Lawrence? I mean, you can totally call me Stella, though. I'm actually looking for Stella. Blonde hair, looks kind of, well, like you, but not. Have you seen her? Uh, no clue, bro. Uh, maybe try the order hall? All the bigwig bros hang there doing their bigwig bro business, telling us all what to do. Jesse, dude! Just unveiled the new statue you built, <laughs> yeah. It's got, um, character? Yeah, I kinda liked the old one, but... Whoa! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it, <laughs> Sha. Kinda feels like it's, like, following me sometimes, though, you know? It is pretty great, isn't it? I wouldn't change a thing. Ja, ja, sure. Go with your gut, totally. <laughs> I just came by to once again admire the update I did to my paltry first attempt at a statue. I really feel it's some of my best work. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, coolio. Just keeping it the way it is forever. <laughs> yeah. Keep it, uh, hanging, Nelly dude. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> my target. One thing from you. More fireworks and banners. Uh, it's not my fault. I, I understand. Then hire more people. Force them and script them. I don't care. Jesse Khan will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen. Or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo. That's our ticket in. It's now or never. Perfect. Now we can- Oh, Gravel, where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse! Back so soon! <laughs> Since when do you... Hmm, you're not the admin, are you? Hmm? 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 Go! Scram! Don't you have puppies to give out or something? Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? I am so glad you're back. Pretending to be the other Jesse's loyal servant has been exhausting. Wait, why am I just finding out now you're back? 
Don't you trust me, Jesse? I thought you'd move past your competitive nature with me. I am part of your core gang. I hate being left out of the loop like this. Honestly, Stella, there wasn't time to tell you. I'm sorry. Oh, I get it. Didn't want to implicate me in your dangerous scheme. No, we just really didn't get around to telling you. Oh, yes, I know. Look, Stella, I need these uniforms to defeat the admin. I don't have time to explain all the- No problemo, friendo. Carry on with your top secret mission. I won't spill anything to the admin. I happen to be an excellent actor. I shall get into character. Let's just, uh, separate, okay? Roger that. Exeunt stage left! friend. Don't we, Axel? Oh, yeah. Totally. The resemblance is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Benta? The admin. He's right there. Right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused. Killing Fred. Inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly, seeing that smile somehow makes it even more unbearable. He's right there, Jesse. Right there. He just looks like you right now. It'd be useless. There aren't any weapons that can even touch him right now. Our only hope is getting that word of passage up to the tower. <sighs> You're right. Attacking him now would only doom us all. And as Jesse, your Jesse, I'm glad we Let's go to work. Of course, it was mandatory, but I sensed that you wanted to come anyway. No one permitted that cure except. Fireworks Union, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. <sighs> I'll find a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. No fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? That's like planning a birthday party without, you know, any fireworks. See? The admin's human. He's messy just like us. Yeah, he's a slob. Big whoop. But what are we supposed to do with no fireworks? I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then, all we need is gunpowder and a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Okay, at least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? This one should give me a blue star shape. Very cool. <laughs> Ivor? Shh! I'm in stealth mode. Completely undetectable to the human eye. How? Invisibility potions. You'll have to take my word for it. They're fantastic. And, um, apparently long-lasting. Thanks for the back-watching. Of course. It's what I do. High five. Right, you can't see it. Why do I keep forgetting that? Do you have any more? 
More what? Invisibility potions. Ah, uh, nope. Sadly, I drank my last one to surprise you here. But I'll be watching you. From the shadows. Ow. Huh. A copy of Lucas's book. Whoever owns this chest must be a fan. Sugarcane. All of Beacon Town has improved from the moment I ascended as your leader. The sky is brighter. Cows are happier. Pie is sweeter. I actually don't even think it's possible for you to thank me enough. Okay, once I've got a bucket, that'll be the perfect spot to fill her up. How are those fireworks coming? Oh, they're coming. This place is just kind of messy. Well, just be like the noble light of truth and shine through the darkness of the mess. Only then will you scatter the shadows and reveal your goal. Yeah, um, I'll work on that. Good to hear, friend. I'll keep on keeping an eye out. Guess that's part of the show. Admin me has taste in after-speech entertainment. Hope this isn't stupid. Gunpowder! Perfect! Okay, let's get crafting. Some nice sugar. Sweet. <laughs> Jesse, we need paper, not sugar. Ooh, right. Here you go. Jeez. Now there's a firework. Nice. Now just need to- Hey, Glenn, I- Wait a minute. You ain't Glenn. And you ain't who? Huh? Yeah. That felt... That felt good. Really good. Maybe we can't hurt the admin yet, but we can still take out his goons. We've come too far to second-guess ourselves, and we can't let anyone get in our way. Even if it's a bystander. Maybe not quite so hard next time. Yes, right. Sorry. Ha! Huh, not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse, for everything.
Jesse, think. Oh. I just need to... Oh, perfect. Just what I needed. Ah! Too slow, Debbie. Come at me, ugly! Uh -oh. Phew. That was close. Okay. Time to get the others. Was I glad to see that waterfall? Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. Okay, I'm not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something when we got in here. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those. Shh. Okay, okay, sorry, you're right. I'm, uh, being a nervous talker. You know, when you do, yeah. Ocelots. Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That, that's enough. Oops, so sorry. Guys, Lucas, I think you're confused. It's me! Oh, we're not confused. We know exactly who you are. No, hang on, everyone. No, it's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, but... Because the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas! So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, and telling us our builds were ugly. Uh, it wasn't me that locked you all up. It was the admin. Wait, what? No, you said you defeated the admin. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... No. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah. We saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... Okay. Yeah. It's you. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the Terminal. We have a... a... word of passage. <laughs> Potato! That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was 
way over my head, especially the potato, but I'm in. You just lead the way, and the new ocelots will have your back. Well, would you look at this. Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Now that's armor for an admin confrontation. Romeo won't know what to do when I'm coming at him in this one. The perfect blend of stealth and style. It's like armor from the future. Love the gold accents on this one. Flashy, but ferocious. Something tells me Magnus would hate the admin. Only room for one crazed egomaniac. Ah, the armor of Tim. I think I once heard Radar say this one was his favorite. Bet that could be the admin's bane, too. Tim might not have been a real warrior, but his armor's gonna help deliver a very real butt-kicking. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Aw, oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Oh! Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you are confused, but this is my office. Heard there might have been people trying to break in, so here I am. Jesse. Troops are getting restless back here. Ocelots, charge! Ah! Excuse me? Nope, 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 nope. Big nope! You're back. That wannabe ninja Ivor told me you were still in the Sunshine Institute. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. And that's your fault. Come on, who are you talking to? That dumb prison of yours couldn't hold me. Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant! What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I don't know if you've noticed but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, ah, Jesse. Ugh. Talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... combat, dueling, build-offs. Not... Ugh. Discourse and debate. I want to talk because I know there's still good in you, Romeo. And I think that if we talk this out, maybe we can come to an understanding. You... you really think that? Yeah. <sighs> I know I was all fiery and mad when you first showed up, but it's just as well. Blimey! I had no idea being you was going to be this difficult! Wait, what? Oh yeah! I'm, I'm, I'm bloody exhausted! The, the constant whining, everyone asking for things all the time! 
It's insufferable. I need iron blocks. I'm out of bricks. I don't want to be surrounded by lava. Oh my gosh. I actually know exactly what you mean. It gets really tiring, right? Oh, yes! And he's like, hello? Uh, can I get a little me time? It's just... But it was fun at first. I'd show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you know... You know what's funny? You've made me see something. You know, it, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, maybe that is the best way to proceed. <sighs> well... This has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah. The next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader. A great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these... These wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'll have more fjords in the next one. Oh, I love a good fjord. Now, hang on a second, Romeo. We can still be friends. You don't have to bedrock over anything. Yeah? You, you really think so? Yes. Mm. Nah. Bedrocking time. Oh, well. <laughs> Toodles! Oh, this doesn't seem good. You guys are okay. Yeah. He just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew, such a jerk. Take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go! Come on! We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. Here is. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, uh, I uh, found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Hashtag potato451! It was, uh, 
It was a good thought, but... Uh... Password protocol initiated. It's him! No, oh, it's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected password protocol. Oh, it's like an automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So, wait. He has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kinda makes me feel bad for him, actually. your password to begin a new program. I... that was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato 451. Hmm. What is this thing? And what does it have to do with potato 451? Sounds like progress, right? Perfect. It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato? Please? Acquiring... Potatoes! Items dispensed. Thank you! Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison. But it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something. Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Huh. To figure out which one is correct. Guess we need to put something in there to get this thing going. I hope this is right. Parrot party protocol initiated. Uh, I'm uh I'm guessing that's not quite right. Agreed. Sorry, parrots. And there we go. Was that a good thud or a bad thud? It's... Fred? Zara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo... Normal, again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? 
Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. You're... Well, I think you might need it. Here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo. Once and for all. I told you. Your world's done. No take that! <laughs> Jesse, hurry. I thought we could still be friends. Yeah. Huh. Figures. <laughs> this temple, this challenge, is my first gift to you. Now, it's going to be where I bury you. Get it up! Oh, I am going to... Ah! 
Romeo. Powers don't make anyone special. It's who you are. How you act. Don't you judge me! You don't get to judge me! Give me back that gauntlet! That's the cause of this! Let go! Say that again. How's that level playing field feel, huh, jerk? Get away from me! make everything so difficult. Everyone likes you, and you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just... I just wanted people to... People to... place is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. <laughs> We're doomed. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just 
Just leave me. My power... It was just frosting on a, on a cake. An empty, worthless cake. No, this is where I belong. This is where I'll pay for what I've done. I can't believe that, that this is what it took for me to realize. Oh, I've been just so stupid, so blind. That's not up to you. You've hurt a lot of people. Well then, what, what are you gonna do with me? Jesse, now's the time. We gotta go. Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. Come on, this place is falling apart. You're not staying here. That would be the coward's way out. Come on. If the lava gets to that portal before we do, we'll be stuck here forever. Let's move. I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, nice work. Sincerely, I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. I do know what I need to do to make up for my crimes, though. I'm going to return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Fix all the lives I... ruined. And I'm going to try and find Zara. See if I can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I what I did to Fred. But if I can heal things with Zara, well, it's something at least. And, and no more admin powers. Everything I do now will just be the normal way. Hope I can still remember how the normal way even works. I think you might want to stay away from her, Romeo. I honestly think she might just kill you if she sees you again. Well, then that's a risk I have to take. She's sort of the only friend I have left. <laughs> Seems fitting that my only friend wants to kill me. Save the world again, huh? 
Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the admin? Is he- Don't worry. He's not the admin anymore. This is Romeo. Well, that's a relief. No more admins for me, thank you very much. I agree with that 112%, Blondie. But Jesse, after everything he did, do you... Do you really think he deserves to go free? What if he hurts more people? He might... He might have been better off where he was. Oh, he's free. But he's not going anywhere. He's gonna make up for all the bad stuff he's done. I foresee many, many hours of community service in his future. Like, thousands. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. I'm approaching you from this direction, and I'm coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Huh. I think I can hear Ivor. But I don't see him. I'm right here! Hello! Clearly in view! Oh, there you are! Hi, Ivor. Yes, hello. Hmm. So, no more... Ninja Ivor, then? Ha! Huh. No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Ellie will be easy. Just need to stop by Redstonia. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. You can apologize, but they might not forgive you. I know, and they don't have to. Admitting my wrongs would be its own reward. Well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Jesse! Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... <sighs> Guess ninja habits die hard. I, uh, hope you don't mind. But, uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been... stressful, but also fun. You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. This is... best day. Whoa! Oh! Hey, Luna. Anyway, uh, so with Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But, uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double check and see if you'd already been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. Seeing, you know, that she likes you so much and all. If you've already built her a llama house when I haven't been around, I, I just wouldn't want to double up. Which, by the way, I'd be okay with you doing if you'd already built one, or were planning to. If she wants to stick with me, it'd be my honor to keep taking care of her. I think she'll really like that. Uh, I always considered you a part of the family. Okay, well, the stupid emotions. I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse. For everything. You saw me at my worst, and you still thought I was worth saving. That, well, that makes me want to try to be better at being my best. Hoping I can start by helping clean up this dump. I guess our rivalry is over. I finally put it to an end. Uh, 
actually, I ended our rivalry. I can end a rivalry way better than you. I'm not proud of it, Jesse, but I was a little tiny bit weirdly obsessed with you. Oh, are we talking about Stella being a weirdo stalker now? <sighs> hey, I was just telling Stella here I would take care of Luna for her. Oh, cool. Well, she seems very excited. Yes, and now I must go. Thank you again for everything. Sincerely. Now, you got everything you need, all packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very, I don't know, bittersweet for me, you know. Um, goodbyes are no good. Hi. <sighs> that we have, Nermi. So, I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So, you're leaving, apparently? For how long? Honestly, probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I... Ah! Come here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. jeez. It'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the Great Unknown, huh? <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. Everyone's gotta find their happy place. For Petra, it's mostly in unexplored forests and caves. Yeah. I think I'm closing that chapter of my life for a while. It's time to settle down. Here. Hey, you guys are missing out on prime group hug action. You don't think this is, like, the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving... Nah, I've got a feeling we'll all be together again. Don't know when, don't know where, but it'll happen. I hope so. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> okay, well... I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> Too late. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Back in the admin's cabin, I, I know you promised that we'd always stick together. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait, you're leaving? Beacon Town's pretty cool. I don't want to miss seeing it get even cooler. Oh, I was hoping that's what you would say. I, for one, am incredibly excited. And I can keep being your intern. Oh, come on. Intern? He hasn't earned a promotion yet? Executive intern. Oh, well, your internship is definitely over with. How about you just be my friend? That's my favorite job title I've ever heard. Holding back the waterworks okay there? No promises. Come on, you guys. Let's head back to the hall. Guys! Guys! Jesse decided to stay! I'm glad to hear it. I know! Me too! Just think about all the amazing things we'll be able to do. The new buildings, the new inventions, the new structures. I've got some big plans. Big, Yo, big plans that radar. I want to Anyway, point is, we've got a lot of work to do, and I can't 
wait to start. <laughs> Me neither, pal. 